Whoa. <laughs> Hello, little learners. Braden and Bubbles here. And today we'll be putting on our lab coats and heading into the laboratory. I'm so excited. We're gonna be doing some science experiments. Are you ready, Bubbles? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oh, oh, here we are, Bubbles! Wait a second, I think we're missing something. I know. Ah! Look at that, Bubbles! This is so much better. Little learners, a lab or a laboratory is a place where scientists conduct their scientific experiments. And today, Bubbles, we're gonna be the scientists. But before we conduct any experiments, we have to make sure that we're being safe while in the lab. So, let's put on some safety gloves. Like this. Here we go, Bubbles. And that is one safety glove. Look at that. And two safety gloves. Just like that. One, two. Two safety gloves for my two hands. And lastly, we need to put on our safety goggles right here. Okay, let's put them on. And boop. How do I look, Bubbles? Do I look like I'm ready to conduct some scientific experiments? <laughs> Great. Well, today our experiments are going to be chemical reactions. A chemical reaction is when you put two different things together and it makes something new. And we have two different experiments that involve chemical reactions. Our first experiment is a volcano. Oh, but it, don't worry, Bubbles. It's not the kind of volcano with hot lava. A volcano is like a mountain but it erupts and makes lots of hot lava in it. But instead of lava, we're gonna be using real chemicals that you can find in a volcano. Isn't that super cool? <laughs> right. Okay, so let's take our chemicals and mix them together. I'll move our volcano over here for just a second. Put our bowl of mixing right there. Get our two chemicals and let's Add them together. Whoosh. Look at that, Bubbles. Now we just have to mix them. Let's stir it. Stir, 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 stir. Stir, stir, stir. Good stirring. Gotta break up that little bit right there. Good job. Alrighty. Now, we just have to add to our volcano. So, we're gonna take this and put it in here. Whoosh. Gonna get a little messy, but that's okay. That's what science is. We get a little messy so that we can discover the world. All right, perfect. I think that's just the right amount. And we want to add a little bit of dish soap so that our reaction will be nice and fast and big, just a tiny bit, like that. All right, Bubbles. Now, I think we're missing one more thing. Oh, that's right. We want to use the color red. Red is the color of lava. So I think it'd be great if we added red to our volcano. Just a little bit right there. And then we need to add water. Water's going to be what makes our volcano erupt. So let's get our water. I had it right there. Ooh, look at all of this water. All right, Bubbles, you ready to see our volcano erupt? How about you, little learners? Oh, don't be scared, Bubbles. It's going to be okay. Ready? Here we go. Ooh. 
Look at it go! Wow! Look at our volcano erupt! Whoosh. Wow! Look at that volcano! Whoosh. And look! All of our lava is nice and red! <laughs> I love volcanoes, don't you, Bubbles? All right. Well, that's only our first experiment. And I think you're gonna love our second experiment, Bubbles, because it's called Elephant's Toothpaste. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not the kind of toothpaste you use to brush your teeth with. It just looks like toothpaste. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our volcano that nicely erupted right there. I'm gonna put it away so we can make room for our toothpaste. Okay. We've got our handy dandy bottle right there. That's where our experiment's going to happen. I'll put it to the side for just right now. For this experiment, we need some hydrogen peroxide right here. So we're gonna put it inside of here so we know that we have just the right amount of hydrogen peroxide. I'm gonna move this water. Okay, let's put our hydrogen peroxide in there. Bubbles ready? And There it goes. Look at all of that hydrogen peroxide. Whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> oh, we're almost there, Bubbles. Keep filling, keep filling. And perfect. That is just right. That's a lot of hydrogen peroxide, isn't it, Bubbles? That's okay. Okay. Now we're going to put it in our water bottle. We need a little funnel like this, so we make sure we don't spill any, right? So let's take our water bottle and fill it with hydrogen peroxide. Just like that. Wow. Look at that water bottle fill up, little larders. Great. Oh, wow, Bubbles. Look, we just have to add the rest of our experiment to it and see what happens. Okay, let's move this over to the side for right now because the thing we'll be adding to our hydrogen peroxide is a mixture of two other things. So let's get our bowl out to help with our mixture. And first, we're going to need to add water. And we're in luck because I have three test tubes full of water. See? Right here. Okay. Can you count these test tubes with me as we add water to our bowl? All right, let's go. Ready, Bubbles? One test tube. And two test tubes. What comes after two? That's right. Three test tubes. Great counting. Okay, now that we've put our water in there, we just need to add our yeast. Bubbles, do you know what yeast is? Yeast is something that we use to make bread, but we're not making bread today. We're making science. All right, let's add it to our water. Pour it in there. Ooh. And then we have to stir it. Can you stir with me? Stir, 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 stir. <laughs> Good stirring, Bubbles. Keep stirring. We need to make sure it's nice and mixed all together. And look at that. Doesn't that look yummy, Bubbles? No, it doesn't look yummy. Oh, okay, I think this is good. We're gonna set it aside just for now because we're not quite done with our hydrogen peroxide. We've got two more things to add to it. What do you think we should add to our hydrogen peroxide, Bubbles? Well, first, we need to put more dish soap in there to help with our reaction. So just a little bit of dish soap, boop, perfect. And then I want to add some food coloring to make our toothpaste look like toothpaste. What color should we use, Bubbles? Because I was thinking we could use blue and yellow. Blue and yellow, those are Bubbles' favorite colors. <laughs> All right, let's add these colors to our hydrogen peroxide. Just a little bit there. And a little bit here. Perfect. We don't need too much. Boop. Boop. 
All right. I think we're ready for our reaction bubbles. Are you ready for some elephant toothpaste? I know I am. Okay. Let's take our funnel here, put it on top, and get ready to add our yeast. Are you ready, little learners? I wonder what will happen. Let's add them together. Ooh, there it goes. Whoa, it's turning different colors. Oh, it's starting to fill up. What's happening? Oh no, Bubbles, oh no. Ah, <laughs> look at that. Wow, it's oozing out. Oh, and it's green. Blue and yellow together makes green. You see the yellow right there? Whoa, that's so cool, Bubbles. Look at it oozing, it's still going. Wow, whoa. You can see on the other side, there's some blue right there too. Blue, right there, blue and yellow. Oh wow, it's a little messy, but that's okay. Thank you so much for being our friend. I can't wait for our next adventure together. So until then, bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Bubbles. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Bubbles thinks that this one is also going to break. What do you think, little learners? Do you agree with him? Okay, well, let's see if he's right. Oh, wow, what? It didn't break. Oh, man, little learners, did you guess right that it wasn't going to break? I had no idea I was for certain it was going to. That's okay, we have one more thing for us to drop and it's our watermelon. Oh, I'm so excited about this one, Bubbles. All right, let's see what happens. Wow, and stop. Okay, little learners, this is it. The grand finale. Do we think our watermelon is going to break or not break? Oh, Bubbles, I have no idea. Well, watermelons are big and green and they're kind of hard on the outside, but on the inside, they're super squishy and really yummy. Oh, I have no idea. What do you think, Bubbles? Oh, Bubbles thinks that this one is going to break. What do you think, little learners? Do you agree with Bubbles? Okay, well, let's find out if he's right. Ooh. Oh, and wow, oh, it broke. Great job, Bubbles, you're so great at this. Little learners, did you guess that one right? Great job. Oh, Bubbles, this game was so much fun. You know, I think we should definitely play this again. What do you think, little learners? Would you like to play this game with us again sometime in the future? Oh, great, I can't wait. Well, little learners, thank you so much for being our friend. I can't wait for our next adventure together. So until then, bye-bye. <laughs> oh, bop, 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 bop. Bubbles! Oh, and hello, little learners. Bubbles, I just finished setting up for today's science experiment. We're going back to the lab. Are you excited to do some science today? Oh, me too. Come on, let's go. It's so great to be back in the lab. And look, I've got my lab coat on. Does it look like I'm ready for some science bubbles? Great, because today we're gonna be talking about magnets. This is a magnet, little learners. What color magnet is this? This is a red magnet. And it kind of looks like the letter U. Like U, Bubbles. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, magnets are really cool because they have something called magnetism, where they like to either pull things towards them, whoa, or push them away. But you know, Bubbles, I'm not sure I know what magnets like to pull towards them, but that's okay. That's why we're in the lab. And I brought some different things for us to test and see if magnets like them. So let's find out. Okay, first, we have this metal strip. It's just a strip of metal. Look, and I'm gonna put it right here and see if I put it close to the magnet, it'll stick. Ready? Boop. Oh, what? Oh, oh no, it's really stuck, Bubbles. It looks like our magnet really likes this magnet strip. Oh, whoa, that's so cool. Let's see if I can get it off. Well, it looks like our metal strip is something that our magnets like. So how about we put it over here in our magnets like these pile. All right, let's see some other items. Oh, wow, this is a ping pong ball and it's orange and it bounces. Oh, I love bouncing ping pong balls. Oh, that's right. We gotta see if magnets like it. All right, I'm gonna put it right here on our table and let's see if it sticks. Oh, 
Oh no, Bubbles, I don't think it likes our ping pong ball very much. Well, ping pong balls are made of plastic. So we got our plastic ping pong ball and our metal strip. So let's put this ping pong ball in our does not stick pile. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> All right, now we have some paper clips. Let's count these paper clips. One, two, three, and four. Four paper clips. Let's see if our magnets like these paper clips. Ready, Bubbles? Oh, boop, boop, boop. oh we got all of the paper clips. Look, Bubbles. They're really sticking, aren't they? Wow, and they're not letting go. It looks like our magnets like paper clips. So let's put it in our stick pile. Stick, just like our magnet strip. Oh, and look, this is part of a dice. It's a dice. And look, it has little circles on them. And it's blue. Oh, I love the color blue. Blue for bubbles. Let's see if this sticks to our magnet. Ready, Bubbles? Oh. oh, it doesn't like it. Well, let's see. It looks like it's made of foam. So our magnet doesn't like foam. Let's put it with our ping pong ball because it does not stick. Oh, and last, we have some keys. Oh, keys like to open doors, don't they, Bubbles? Let's see if our magnet likes keys. Put them right there. And, boop. oh, look, it likes the rings on the keys. Ooh, and they're floating. Look at that, Bubbles. Wow. So it looks like the rings on our key will stick to a magnet. So let's put it in our stick pile. So let's see. We have keys, magnet strip, and paper clips. These things look like they're all made of metal. So I think our magnet likes metal. But you know what, Bubbles? That's not the only thing that magnets like. They also like other magnets. <laughs> this magnet is our horseshoe magnet. And this one is a circular magnet. It's a big old circle. And it kind of looks like a donut because it has a hole in between. And look, this magnet likes the other magnet and they stick together. Oh. <laughs> it almost fell right there, Bubbles. So I wanted to test how magnets interact with each other. So I built this magnet pyramid. Oh, look. Do you know what a pyramid is, little learners? A pyramid is like a big triangle. Oh, I love it. And it's got a little donut magnet hanging from it on a little piece of yarn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some more magnets, these ones right here, which are rectangles. See, rectangular magnets. And I'm gonna see how our donut magnet interacts with these rectangular magnets. You wanna find out, Bubbles? Well, let's see. All right, I'm gonna put it underneath and, whoa. What is it doing, Bubbles? Oh, it looks like it's following our donut magnet. Isn't that cool? It's spinning with it. Oh, that's so cool. Look, it's not even touching. Oh, you know what? I bet we can make it shake. How about you shake with our magnet? Ready? Shake, 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 shake. Oh, <laughs> shake, 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 shake. I love how it's swinging back and forth and it's not stopping, Bubbles. Okay, um, ooh, I bet if we take our magnets and we make our donut magnet not move, we could bring these magnets in close and see if our donut magnet swings towards it. Are you ready? Oh. It's starting to spin. Look, oh, it really, oh, there it goes. <laughs> it's really stuck there, isn't it? Look, so magnets really like other magnets. See how it sticks? Wow, Bubbles, that's so cool. 
Well, now that we know that magnets really like to stick to other magnets, I have a special surprise for you. Do you want to find out what it is? Okay, great. I made us this maze. Look at that, Bubbles. Isn't this cool? And look, we're all the way over here. That's you and me. We're just hanging out and we're at the playground. And it looks like we're trying to get all the way home. And you know what? I think we can help ourselves get home using magnets. Look, our picture has a little magnet stuck on the back of it right there. And we're using a mag another magnet on the back side to move it around like this. Boop. And look, it sticks. So how about we try to get home, Bubbles? All right, can you help me out? I don't know how I'm gonna get home, so let's do it together. Let's go. Oh, here we go, here we go. Let's go down this way. Oh, wait a second. Oh no, Bubbles, that's where a crab is. We don't wanna go to the crab. Oh no. Let's go back up. Oh, let's go a different way. Let's go down, down, down. Oh, wow. Where are we going, Bubbles? Boop, 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 boop. We're going all the way down here. Uh-oh, we've come to a crossroads. Which way should we go, Bubbles? You think we should go up or we should go right? Which way do you think we should go, little learners? Up or right? You know what? I'm gonna listen to you, Bubbles. I'm gonna go right. What do you think, little learners? You think that's the right way? Okay, let's go down and then let's see where we're going. Oh, look, some trees. I do like trees, don't you, Bubbles? And we're keeping on moving, and we're coming up, and, oh, look! It looks like we made it home, Bubbles! Whoa, we did it! We went all the way through that difficult maze. We almost got caught by a crab, didn't we? But our magnets helped us get home. Aren't magnets cool, Bubbles? <laughs> right. I'll go ahead and put this up right here. Whoa, Bubbles! Magnets are so cool, aren't they? Man, I just love science, don't you? Well, Bubbles, I think that's all the time that we have for today. Little learners, thank you so much for being our friend, and I can't wait for our next adventure together. So until then, bye-bye, bye-bye. Ooh, <laughs> just like a magnet, I wanna give you a hug. <laughs>
solution song, solution song. It's so much fun when we sing along. The solution song, solution song. Come on, everybody, let's sing the solution song. Hey, guys. Hi, Lionstein. Hey, kids. Ready to go to Mars? I don't know. I have to be home for supper. No problem. I made these Mars bars. Try one. Mmm, I like it. Good, because it's a long way. 140 million miles, to be precise. Martian bounce house. We're a long way from home. No wonder nobody's here. Except robots. Scientists sent this rover to do research. Wake up, Curiosity. You have company. Hi, Curiosity. What have you learned so far? He says he found water here, and water is essential for all life. Hey, I'm cold. Naturally. It's about 80 below zero. The summers, not so bad. You might need a sweater. So, was there ever life on Mars? Possibly a billion years ago. So, before I was born? <laughs> <laughs> I agree, Curiosity. It's time for us to go. Oh, already? Well... We can come back when they build an Earth colony. I hope they name it Lion's Town. Well, see you later, Curiosity. Bye! Goodbye. Now that's what I call progress. Wow! Come on, Bubbles, let's go! Oh, that was so cool, Bubbles. Did you see how you... And then you went... And then it was like, oh, Bubbles, that movie was so awesome. Oh, and we learned so much about how cool Mars is. My favorite part was when we learned about the robot Curiosity. Oh, little learners, what was your favorite part? Oh, I like that part too. Oh, Bubbles, I love that movie so much. I just wish that there were more movies with you in them that we could watch. Oh, what, what is it? There's more? Oh, Bubbles, can we watch another one of your movies sometime? Oh, great. I can't wait. Little learners, thank you so much for being our friend. I can't wait for our next adventure together. So until then, bye-bye. Oh, Bubbles, 